Hi everybody, I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to achieve CI CD pipeline using the AWS tools code, be code build, code deploy, and code pipeline. They are the tools, the DevOps tools that are available on AWS. So this is this is are the tools that we are using. We are going to use code pipeline, code deploy, and code build to build our artifacts and code deploy to to, to deploy our uh, our build artifacts to our EC2 using the code deploy agent. This lab is aimed to, to, to achieve an orchestration for our REST IPE that contains MongoDB, Node.js and React.js. Right? And this build artifact of our React.js we will we will copy uh, we will deploy it in our Nginx and we will serve our REST IPE via Nginx using Using the Docker and the Docker Compass for for the orchestration purpose. And in this demo, I am going to show you how to use EBS so you can maintain and store your your historical data for your MongoDB. So even if the EC2 instance or or, or the the container is br break it down, so the data it, it will be not lost and we will maintain it. So this so I will, let me show you what is the the architecture that we are going to achieve during this lab so during this lab as you can see we have this this architecture this is our ec2 instance and here we have our docker compass cluster then here we have docker compass network as you can see that doc, even docker or docker compass kubernetes or any container runtime are based on network on linux namespace network you can go and check the what me what is the Linux namespace network and the, when you will understand it you will understand well how the containers network containers are working. So as you can see here that at the first time when we created EC2 instance a default EBS volume is created with it. But we will create another EBS and we will attach it to this to this EC2 instance. This EBS we will mount it to the volume then in our container in, uh, in our uh, in our container we will mount this volume to this to this directory in our in our mongodb container we will create a build speak yaml so this build uh, this build speak.yaml file will give instruction to code build what he go going to do and the same thing for app speak.yaml what the commands that he uh, it will go into to, to, to run once the, 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 the deployment is finished and as an intermediate between the code build and code deploy we will use S3 bucket here we we will zip our artifacts output and send it to S3 bucket then the code build will unzip it and retrieve it then we will deploy it on our EC2 instance so to 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 to, to give permission or to to give access to code deploy to read our tags because code deploy use what we call a group deployment. The, the group deployment is the, our target EC2 instance where we will deploy our artifacts, unzipped artifacts. So to allow code deploy to read the, the tags of EC2 instance, we have to, to assign it a role. And the same thing for EC2 instance, to read this artifact from S3, we have to give it a role that contains permission of read access to our EC3 bucket. So to understand this well, let us go and jump to, 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 to the practice and understand well how these stuffs are working under the hood. So now I will go to my AWS account. Then the first thing that I am going to do is I will create roles. I will create a role for my EC2 instance and the role for code deploy. So here I will go to the IAM service. Create a role and go to roles. Then go to create role and we will use there is AWS service, another AWS account, and we identify we'll use AWS service and we'll click on EC2.
and here this row will attach it a permission of s3 read only access and give it a tag it's preview and give it a row name is ec2 ec2 is three read only role role then create a form I will create another role and this time for my code deploy. So we go here again, say create role. To AWS service and go down here and check for code deploy. And this, this code deploy is to work code when we, we, when we want to, to use code deployed with EC2 instance. And this one, when we will try to use it with Elastic Container Service. And this one when we will when we will use it with lambda function. In our case we will use it with EC2 instance. That's why we will choose this this option. This use case. Then next. This one this row review then code. Could deploy code role because I have already mm, created these roles, but in this lab I'm just showing you how you can how you create them. Then create role. So once the roles are created, now let us go and run our EC2 instance where we will run our Docker Docker Compass cluster. So let's just launch a new instance. We'll use the Linux distribution and we'll go with the default configuration. And here we'll go down here and for the IAM role, we'll, cho we'll choose this. This is the role that we have created EC2 is 3 read only role. Nice. Then add storage. Then add the tag, the name, call it DevOps. For security group, I will open only the, the HTTP port. That Nginx server will listen on it. Review and launch. Launch it. Then choose my old, my existing C pair. I acknowledge that I have it. Then I launch instance. If you want to run your EC2 instance in your own VP in your own VPC, you can go to my previous videos where I showed you how to create the steps to create a VPC and run it, run your EC2 instance in it. Let us go and connect to our EC2 instance using Mobox term to make an SSH connection. It is running. So let me let me do sudo 